Hey there, welcome to Scott's Thoughts. Welcome home, welcome home to the channel. Um, in this video, I'm gonna talk a, a little bit about uh, growing up, about feelings and emotions, and, and then I'm gonna also share about uh, what I've learned in recovery about feelings and emotions. So uh, stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and that notification bell so you don't miss any, any of my upcoming videos and share my videos on other social media. So yeah, I wanted to um, talk about uh, feelings and emotions. Um, as a, a guy in recovery, um, uh, well, I'll talk a little about growing up. I grew up, I grew up in a home or a house <laughs> Um, that showing feelings and, and emotions was a weakness, um, and uh, and a home and a, a plate, and I was living with people that that you know be be seen, not heard, right? So, um, very young age, I was already I was already putting those walls up, um, and uh, you know, um, and then uh, because I'd put so many of those walls up growing up in relationships and. And being married a couple of times and stuff like that, I, I I didn't know I didn't know how to let myself feel or, or be vulnerable or any of that stuff because I, I, I was always taught to 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 hold all that stuff inside myself for for so many years. Um, so that's that's what I was taught when I was younger. Um, you know, uh, my parents were unpresent. That's you know, um, my parents were divorced four, or, or separated four times before they decided, hey, maybe we should just get divorced. <laughs> uh, so, and after that, I was I was 18 at that time. So, my parents gave me an ultimatum, an <laughs> ultimatum, uh, either to or, or uh, to the, to live with either one of them, and I just made a decision just to, to move out. Um, I was with a with a girlfriend at that, that time that ended up being my first wife. And um, just pretty much this whole life thing has just been all trial and error, <laughs> right? Um, and before I came into a recovery, there's been a lot of error, and, and there was there was a lot in my life. So um, I've I've learned I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot and done a lot of self like inventories and self discovery and and uh, I learned that from people that I I, I stay close to uh, today. Um, in recovery in a, in this in a 12-step program so uh, what I've when and what I'm, I'm learning is uh, uh, when it comes to feelings uh, feelings aren't wrong they're they just are right uh, it's okay to feel it's just what I, what I do with those feelings if I, if I if I bottle them up or if I do my best to communicate with someone so they know where I am up here <laughs> Uh, I uh, I have a lot of tools today. Um, I know that that feeling uh, and, and being emotional isn't a weakness; it's a strength. Uh, and and that was a that was a I really needed to hear words like that and, and uh, people sharing um, their stuff. So I wasn't so afraid to share my stuff. Um, and, and now that you know I've been I've been around. For a few 24 hours, and, and I find it so rewarding to give back, you know, and that's what it is. It's a, I can't keep this <laughs> unless I'm giving it away, and that's where I that's where I find success in life today. I have I have purpose today in life, and then my purpose in life today is to be of service to others. They're they're in a 12-step program or or otherwise. It's just even if it's just having a, a friendly ear, just to listen, because that's that's what I needed. I just needed someone to listen. You know, I, I grew up feeling like my thoughts and, and my words and stuff were never valid. And today I know they are. Every, everyone's thoughts and, and, and words are valid. Um, and I learn from everyone. Uh, I, uh, you know, I go, I go to the 12-step programs and, 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 I, and I meet people that they no longer what I want, <laughs> have what I, I want or need anymore, and I meet, meet the people that, hell yeah, I want more of what you have. Um, so yeah, that's just a, a little bit of uh, what, I, what I've learned um, on my journey. Uh, so I, um, I really hope that, you know, just 
one person can relate with what I share, then that's that's I mean, that means the world to me. I and and I try to make a difference, and and I and I do my best on, on a daily basis to make people know that they matter and they do make a difference, and 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 their thoughts and their words are valid. Um, I, I I need I needed to know that myself, so I I know how important it is to someone else to know that there's someone out there that's just at least willing to listen. You know, um, I'm not an expert on anything, especially recovery. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'll always be a, a work in progress and I, I accept that I, and I know I don't have to have all the answers and I don't have to be perfect today. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I hope uh, some uh, one of you are uh, out there is able to relate, you know, and that's what I needed. I needed, I, I when I came into recovery, um, I, was, I was always the black sheep, always ostracized, always pushed aside, and uh, and because I had put all those walls up, and I, di I didn't know, I didn't, and wearing all those masks, and I di didn't know how to be me because I didn't think me was good enough. So today, uh, I just tried to give this this these words of, of hope to other people in my, in, that I meet on my journey. Um, so I hope uh, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down there and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming co uh, content and uh, videos. And, uh, and hope you're all doing well and stay safe and warm and have a wonderful day.